from Jamaica to India in four days. So we started off with saying our goodbyes to Reggie's friends and classmates at Marlemont. And of course, you know that they're in grade six, so this is their final year. They might never see each other again. And it was a beautiful, beautiful celebration. And it just shows the impact that Reggie has on everybody that he has come in contact with. These are his classmates. They presented him with gifts and a card, well written, and everybody, you know, give their sentence then it was time to say goodbye um, this was a little bit too much for me as you can see yes in the front he started crying at first because that's his best friend right there Yashan and of course Ezzy these guys are trust me before long everybody was in tears <laughs> No, this. You'll be back here. And I tell you, I want the first copy of your book. Yes. Yes. I want the first copy. I want to endorse the first copy. <laughs> <laughs> So it started off with prayer and ended with tears and then it was a sing-along. So we're on our way to the airport and you know you're not Jamaican unless your entire family follow you to the airport. So here we are, the entire gang on our route to the Norman Manley International. It's a beautiful day in Jamaica. The sun was out and everything will be right in Jesus' name. We started our journey off and you already know I'm going to act a fool. We left Jamaica at 3 and we arrive in Panama, the beautiful Panama, at 5.30. It was a really nice little you know fly out nothing wrong with that i in, totally enjoyed the flight um, via copa caribbean copa airlines sorry then it was a glance of beauty and exquisite art i stopped at this perfume shop right as i come off of the plane i'm telling you say i was in heaven panama is definitely the place for shopping um, so we we do some window shopping for a while and then head out to Yeah, all right. So this is just basically window shopping for a long time <laughs> Longer than I had hope there is Chanel everywhere Carolina hair Everywhere I do already have the good girl. I already have some sense So if you know me you already know that my favorite things are perfume and food so then it was time for us to say no we were in panama for a while we we're in panama for six hours while we await our next flight so we just continue browsing looking at the different shops inside of the airport while we wait for our flight to istanbul that's um turkey so the place was as expected as you know a lot of persons a lot of jamaicans travel to panama for shopping so we knew that there's gonna be a lot there were gonna be a lot of different shops to shop and you know for us it was just to browse and what i did not know was that i was gonna be feel so broke because being broke in panama oh my god it's a double time bro because you know there's a lot of things to see um so as i said this is gonna be a four-day flight um transit from jamaica to india guys as you can see i was i was in my place i was in heaven and i was i was I was trying to hold it together and then I came upon Bath and Body Works and see all of this and it's just three four seventeen dollars I had to hold myself as a girl by now hunger later then we stopped by Victoria's Secret and Vicky she let out everything it was beautiful listen Panama definitely is the place to shop I can only imagine what it feels like you know inside Panama malls themselves but it was really good it was a really good experience I've never been to Panama so this is definitely my first time even though it is so close so guys this is your cue to book that trip book that trip then we stop at Bugari oh my god 
Hermes, 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 Hermes. I had to say, Raje, we cannot continue to do this. This is not good for our health. We have to go. It was not good for our health at all. At all. We had to go. So we left and we started walking around and looking at some other stores. And then we came upon some electronics for Raje. You know, that's his thing. So we went by there for a minute. Um, again, it was window shopping for six hours, guys. Make of it what you will. So the boss book up on the coolest Jordan, according to him, and he was obsessed with it as a sneaker addict. He was obsessed with this Jordan. He was like, look at it. He couldn't stop putting it. I'm like, put it back, boy. Put it back. You don't have Jordan money. Come on. Put it back. Let's go. again crocs so we stop at crocs for a minute and then we decide you know what let's get something to eat i've never been to olive garden always the palm tv so i'm like olive garden it is baby so we got this strawberry drink it was really good and i got a margarita pizza trust me i've never been to italy but a pizza i feel like it make up a italy it was amazing it was great Raji got this i don't remember its name i think it's lasagna something but it was really good it was really good trust me that pizza yeah? born and grew at italy sicily yeah real nice cherry tomatoes topped on the cheese was just right it was it was bussing that's Raji's term for really good bussing that's what it was so you already know i cleared that plate like it was nobody's business we had a really good time there and now it is time for us to pack up our things and head on out to our next stop our next stop is istanbul turkey so we wait in line what for what seems like forever because listen there were so many persons going on this flight i was traumatized finally after about an hour it was time to start boarding the turkish airline and people let me tell you this from now before me even get on the plane me just no say me they go stress out another flight here because guess what this is a 13 hours flight 12 and a half hours me just around it up to 13 and done 13 hour flight from Panama to Istanbul. I was traumatized from it. It's seat on the itinerary. I was losing my shit. But you know, girl gonna make the best of everything. And this is us on the plane. It just showing us our route. Yep. Uh yeah, another glance of our route. And let me tell you something also. If you have never fly Turkish Airline, this is your opportunity to fly to Turkey so you can go on them plane they gave us this little goodie bag it, they were they were the perfect airline to be flying for 12 hours right so they gave us this little goodie bag it came with it came with socks and, and night slippers our bed side bed slippers you got a little lip balm thing we got earplugs we got blankets and of course ear phones turkish airline turkey I live in a 2050. Me don't tell you no already. Turkey, I live in a 2050, okay? The Raja earphone was a little bit broken, but that does stop me from say 10 out of 10. Would recommend Turkey Airline is the boss. There was Netflix and HBO Max. It was the perfect airline to be flying for 12 hours. And once more, we just want to say thank you guys for everybody who has donated and shared. We love y'all. Before long, it was dinner time and I got the fish. And I don't recognize nothing else on this thing but the fish, the vegetables, and the bread. But, but, wait, wait. When I was to say the fish kind of look questionable. The fish look questionable. But this is our tray. Take it all in. 
And though the fish look like this and the mashed potato is not mashed potato in, mama tell her something. That was just at a glance. Okay, so I put it in my mouth. It was busting, okay? This little dessert thing. Ooh, listen, your girl did that. Because my cleared plate, not no left except that thing they only go sitting at the end and then i got some apple juice to wash it all down so this is the aftermath this is what it looked like i couldn't eat that i never know what and it just just it never the consistency they just rang in my mouth it is plaka plaka i never want that so i never bother with that but everything else was amazing and it would not be a vlog unless you go inside the people in the bathroom and bust a selfie hmm what would it be if you never bust a selfie? And that's when I realized that my lash was falling off. Oh my God, I was so embarrassed. So I'm just take it off and then me find the people and spray. Cologne, cologne in the people in the bathroom. I mean, I tell her, I said, it nice. My beard, my body, you know, it's aqua heat name, aqua cologne. And it's the perfume. It's the real shit. My beard, my body, you know, it. as I said, I'm a perfume person i love fragrances and when i tried this it was woody and a little bit musky but also sweet florally the beard my body in i i was just wondering like if i could get it to buy because oh my god it was that good then after about four hours or five hours it was breakfast time because you know it, it was already morning in istanbul and this is what we got for breakfast so we got some pancakes and some fruits and cheese a little bit of jam it was really good i really did enjoy my flight on the turkish airline then hello istanbul we have arrived we have arrived let the church say amen so we got on the escalator because this is pro i've never been to atlanta people tell me say atlanta airport is the biggest but if it's bigger than this me no one go because it took us literally three hours from arrival to departure i was tired i was exhausted colonel must it tie we must tie colonel tie we can you imagine first day in india colonel Ready where you want? Classic zinger box. Popcorn chicken. Hello. Can I get a zinger box, please? Where you want, Ready? Two zinger box, please. Yes, two. We're gonna take okay, our Uber, Uber from the airport. The, the KFC is at the airport Uber actually. Uber. This never and then we're gonna head into our hotel. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something. Uber, zero out of ten. Zero out of ten. The man made me go to the bag. The man on top call me sir. The man on top says sir, 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 this, sir, that. I was complaining in this video, but it was too noisy, so I have to just do the voiceover. Zero out of ten would not recommend. The man made me carry my own bag. I've never left my own bag in my entire life. In my entire life, the man made me lift up my own bag and put it in the car. And my bag every car, with a tin mackerel and sardine and beer bean and butter bean in night. Anyways, I'm not making a nice experience. Anyways, we are on our route to hotel. So this is what India be looking like, okay? This is close to the airport. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to say I'm, I'm a little bit shocked. I'm, I'm a little bit shocked. But again, again, you are gonna maintain a positive outlook, and we're gonna say, yeah, this is this, this is what it looks like. So we're on our route to the Marriott. That is where we're staying. We got to the hotel, and it was bossing. <laughs> Maybe bossing is the wrong word to use, but it was really nice. It was really quaint and elegant and up to date and modern. I loved, loved, loved the hotel. This is our uh, five thirty. His name is Michael. He's the sweetest. He's so kind. Trust me, we have met some amazing person on this journey. So many persons who are so helpful and kind. We just we we are having a time of our life, and that is the absolute truth. So you know, my one or two little things might happen, but. Mm -mm. Exactly. We share the tough. I will continue to push That's forward and we look at the positive. This was the softest rug as I've ever felt. It felt like walking on clouds, okay? So, Michael pushed our bags down to our room and we are staying in 5 30. Listen, guys, 
this you want to see the room tour, is you're have to stay tuned the for view. the next video. Please note that this is not Thank like such so a proper color so you expect to like see outside. So don't, don't get excited for that. So this is the view. You can get a little glimpse of Mumbai. So this is Mumbai. I, I love me oh, just big. This is. Look at this. Can you imagine waking up to Mumbai. a sunrise like we this? We are in oh Mumbai. My We're heading to Bangalore oh my in God, it's a so couple beautiful. days. We'll be in Mumbai for two days while we await transit. It has its nice little Indian Bangalore. charm to we'll it. We keep you posted. We'll keep it's you really updated. nice. Remember, it is like 8 a.m. in India right now while I'm filming. So, you know. Thank you so much for everything. You're seeing what the city looks like at 9 a.m.